Hello children. In today's session, we will be discussing about enzymes. During the previous classes, I told you that enzymes are biocatalysts. They are compounds found in the living system of organisms that are involved in hastening or increasing the rate of any reaction. All the metabolic reaction that is taking place in your body. Okay, so these biocatalysts are mostly proteinaceous. It means that they are mostly made up of proteins. Sometimes certain nucleic acids behave like uh, enzymes and we call them as ribozymes. So nucleic acid compounds which behave like enzymes are called as ribozymes. Now these enzymes they have a primary structure, secondary structure as well as a tertiary structure. Just like any other protein they have these different levels of structure. In primary structure, normal alignment, single straight line, uh, the arrangement of amino acid, the number of amino acid are discussed. In secondary and tertiary structure, further higher level of organization is discussed. When it comes to tertiary structure, you know that the pro protein is folded upon itself, folded and bended. So, whenever a structure is folded and bended, there is a possibility that here and there small gaps are formed. If this is a straight line and I am folding it and bending it like this many times. You can see that at certain places there are some pockets or gaps or you can also call it as crevices. Crevices are like what? Gaps. Okay. One of these pocket or one of these cravited act as active site. They act as active site. Now what is an active site? Active site are regions or pockets into which a substrate gets attached to and is then later converted into a product. Enzyme the function and the enzyme takes part in a metabolic reaction. Reaction the Barnalo, anything that is involved in converting a reactant into a product. So Namada Ivita the reactant. Reactant in the GM, one that has to be changed into a product. Those reactants are otherwise called as substrate. What is it? Substrate. Okay, so these substrates attaches themselves to the crevices or pockets found in the tertiary structure of enzyme called as active site. Now, once it is attached to the active site, now the reaction is ready to begin. Ennale, namada enzyme na effectively a substrate le act and uh, the reaction will culminate. Alright, so that is what active site means. And then every enzyme has its own active sites. Now, these enzymes are very specific. That is, they can work only in certain temperature and certain pH called as optimum temperature. Optimum temperature or optimum pH. Now, chala work high efficiency loda work temperature and korch pH matra me ullo. A highly effective or highly efficient uh, temperature at which the enzyme is uh, highly efficient. Adhanya valikki na pain yana optimum temperature alangil optimum pH. Alright. Enzymes if temperature too much of uh, very high temperature and very low temperature or very high pH and very low pH it can affect the functioning of enzymes. But there are always exceptions. Certain enzymes is isolated from organisms obtained from certain specific regions. Like for example, the salt water lake um, or uh, hot springs where the temperature is very uh, much above the boiling temperature. From all those regions, certain bacteria and certain uh, uh, organisms are isolated. And the enzymes which is found in them is said to have a property called as thermal stability. Thermal here signifies temperature. Stability means that even at very high temperature, the enzyme does not lose its functioning or its efficiency or its uh, properties that makes it an enzyme. 
all the other normal enzymes or other normal enzymes when exposed to very high temperature they are since they are made up of proteins the protein structure denatures i told you what denaturing of protein means they denature but these specific enzymes are isolated from organisms certain organisms they have something called as thermal stability what is it thermal stability it can be found from uh, hot hot springs allengile ningal earth inde crust odu cherkumbodhekkum hot vents are there that is from the core of the earth the temperature is being pushed out so from through certain holes found in the ocean floor അതിനെ വിളിക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് ഹോട്ട് വെൻസ് ഓക്കെ അവിടെ നിന്നൊക്കെ വരുന്ന ആ ഒരു അവിടെയുള്ള ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ വെറി വെരി ഹൈ ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ആയിരിക്കും സോ ഓർഗാനിസംസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് കേപ്പബിൾ ഓഫ് സർവൈവിങ് ഇൻ ദോസ് റീജ്യൻ ഷുഡ് ഹാവ് എൻസൈംസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് സ്റ്റേബിൾ ഇൻ സച്ച് ഹൈ ടെമ്പറേച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ സിൻസ് വി ആർ ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് എൻസൈംസ് ദർ ഇസ് സംതിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി നീഡ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓൾ ദ കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻസ് യു ടേക്ക് എനി കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻസ് ദ ക്യാൻ ബി ഐദർ a physical reaction or a chemical reaction that is whatever the reaction is taking place it can be either a physical change or a chemical change what does it mean when i say it can be a physical change a physical change are those in which shape of a molecule or a substance changes without breaking of bond or change in state of matter and then ഫിസിക്കൽ ചേഞ്ച് ആർ ദോസ് ഇൻ വിച്ച് ഷേപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ മോളിക്യൂൾ ഓർ എ സബ്സ്റ്റൻസ് ചേഞ്ചസ് വിത്തൌട്ട് ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദ ബോണ്ട്സ് ഓർ ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് മാറ്റർ ഇവരിൽ ബോണ്ട് ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് ഓ ബോണ്ട് മേക്കിങ്ങോ ഒന്നും നടക്കുന്നില്ല ജസ്റ്റ് എ ഷേപ്പ് എൻ ഷേപ്പിൽ ചേഞ്ച് മാത്രമേ നടക്കുന്നുള്ളൂ വെരാസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് വെരാസ് ഇൻ കേസ് ഓഫ് കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻസ് ദർ ഇസ് ബോണ്ട് ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് ഓർ ബോണ്ട് മേക്കിംഗ് ടേക്കിംഗ് പ്ലേസ് സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് വൺ compound with a specific structure after the completion of chemical reaction converts itself into some other compound with a different structure adana chemical reaction so be it any reaction any reaction there is a particular rate at which it proceeds so what does it mean by rate of a reaction rate of a reaction means the product formed the amount of product formed in unit time endu vacha endha edu reaction de rate endu parayumbo how much of the product is formed in unit time appo njan parayana it uh, 250 kg of the product is formed in 10 minutes adana adinde rate so 250 kg by 10 that is the rate of the reaction but when i say that the rate of the reaction is very high it means that a large amount of products are formed in less time or if i say the rate of the reaction is very slow or low it means that less amount very less amount of products are formed in very large like maybe 1 hour 2 hour something like that so whenever you hear rate of reaction it means the amount of product formed per unit time now what does this enzyme do the enzymes increase the rate of reaction enzymes increase rate of reaction that is the amount of product formed per unit time increases in presence of in presence of enzymes suppose uh, in 1 hour 800 molecules of a particular product is formed without the presence of an enzyme and in presence of enzyme 2 lakh molecule in 10 minutes is formed this is the change what happens in presence of enzymes and in absence of enzyme the rate of the reaction is increased now as any reaction just like enzymes reactions are also affected by the uh, changes in uh, conditions around it for example if the temperature is increased there is a general thumb rule or there is a specific rule which says that with every increase in 10 degree celsius with increase in 10 degree celsius of temperature the rate can either increase or decrease by half the rate can get doubled or decrease by half 
ഇൻ ഐതർ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ഫോർവേഡ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഓർ ബാക്ക്വേഡ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഏത് റിയാക്ഷൻ എടുത്താലും ഫോർവേഡ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ ആയാലും ബാക്ക്വേഡ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ ആയാലും ഫോർ എവ്രി ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇൻ ടെൻ ഡിഗ്രി സെൽഷ്യസ് ഓഫ് ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ദ റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ റിയാക്ഷൻ ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് ഡബിൾഡ് ഓർ ഡിക്രീസ്ഡ് ബൈ ഹാഫ് ബട്ട് ഓൾസോ ഹിയർ യു ഷുഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദിറ്റ് ഈ ഡബ്ലിങ്ങും ഡിക്രീസ് ഓഫ് ഡിക്രീ ഡിക്രീസ് ബൈ ഹാഫും ഇസ് ഓൺലി പോസിബിൾ അപ് ടു എ സെർട്ടൈൻ ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ആ ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ത്രഷോൾഡ് ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ എത്തിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പിന്നെ അതിന് ശേഷം ഈ ഇൻക്രീസ് നിങ്ങൾ കാണാൻ പറ്റില്ല ലെറ്റ് എസ് നൗ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ക്ലാസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് നോമൽ ക്ലേച്ചർ ഓഫ് എൻസൈംസ് ക്ലാസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ടു ക്ലാസിഫൈ ദ according to the international union of biochemistry enzymes have been classified into different groups based on the type of reaction that they catalyze and so in the type of reaction aanu avaru catalyze cheyindu adu vachittu enzymes have been classified so six different classes of enzymes are there and further these uh, each group have been subdivided into the sub classes also but here we will be mainly discussing about only the six different major classes of enzymes nomenclature nomenclature is nothing but naming nomenclature in the term in the meaning nachal naming nanu edo or substance ne name it can be a plant it can be an animal it can be a compound anything whenever you hear nomenclature you should understand that it means naming okay so here we are understanding how to name enzymes so basically there is no such thing as a specific rule for a uh, nomenclature for now you need to understand that whenever an enzyme is named or whenever you want to identify an enzyme you just look for the last few alphabets if suppose uh, i want to <coughs> sorry if i want to know the enzyme which can convert maltose that enzyme is named maltase the last three alphabet is replaced by as so in a group of compounds you want to identify which is an enzyme which is sick whether they have this as at the as a suffix okay just like in the is 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 just recall try to recall any enzyme that you know they'll be having as at the end of their name so the six major classes of enzymes are oxidoreductases transferases hydrolases lyases isomerases and ligases let us look at each one of them oxidoreductases are enzymes which are involved in oxidation reduction reactions that is any uh, reaction which is together carrying out, carrying out an oxidoreductase uh, sorry oxidoreduction uh, reaction in those reactions the oxidoreductase takes place okay so oxidoreductases are enzymes which take place in or take part in oxidation reduction reactions okay transferases transferases are those enzyme which is involved in reactions wherein transfer of functional group is taking place wherein transfer of functional group is taking place for example uh, as is given in your textbook two reactants are there in this one g is supposedly the functional group and as the reaction culminates g is now part of the other substrate see there is transfer of functional group taking place so the enzyme which is involved in such kind of reactions are called as transferases as you can see transferases enzymes which is taking place in or which is taking part in transfer reactions okay hydrolases these are bond breaking these are bond breaking reaction enzymes which take place in or uh, which take part in bond breaking reaction for example uh, c n c s c c such kind of bonds occur break yanayite by the introduction of water by introduction of water these enzymes 
help in breaking of bonds just recall what you learned in the previous cases like uh, how glycosidic bond is formed how peptide bond is formed how phosphodiester bond is formed avadeka water and introduction und so those kind of enzymes are called as hydrolases which is taking part in reaction of bond breaking by introduction of water next is lyases lyases are also taking part in bond breaking but without the involvement of water without the involvement of water and by the end of these reactions in which lyases take part double bonds are formed double bonds are formed for example this is how the reaction ends by the end of the bond uh, sorry by the end of the reaction double bond is formed between both the carbon molecules okay isomerases you must have learned about isomer every compound has a isomer it can be an optical isomer or a positional isomer and isomerization is one such reaction wherein one compound is converted into its isomeric form so isomerases are compounds which help in the conversion of a compound into its isomeric form ligases ligases are enzymes which take part in a reaction that is involved in bond formation they are involved in bond formation a b such kind of reactions wherein bond formation is taking place ligases are the enzymes involved all right so let us have a quick review oxidoreductases are enzymes involved in oxidation reduction reaction that is why they got the name transferases are enzymes which are involved in transfer of functional group from one compound to another compound and hence the name transferases hydrolases hydro means water lases means a breaking of bonds so hydrolases are enzymes which is involved in bond breaking like uh, bonds between carbon and nitrogen carbon and sulfur carbon and phosphate carbon and carbon except carbon and hydrogen e carbon and hydrogen block bond allanda baaki ella bond breakage by the involvement of water such kind of enzymes are called as hydrolases lyases are again enzymes which taking play taking part in bond breaking reactions but without the involvement of water and at the end of reactions wherein lyases are involved double bonds are formed isomerases are enzymes which is involved in the conversion of a compound into its in isomeric form ligases are involved in bond formation okay these are the major enzymes and you have to learn each one of them with example and the kind of reaction they take part in